Hi, I'm Bill Freeling, Director of Economic Development and Tourism for the City of Fredericksburg. On today's edition of Freeling Finds, we're going to explore the City of Fredericksburg's great walkability. We're standing right now outside Hercamp Park, or in front of Hercamp Park, and uh, we're at the corner of Prince Edward and William Street. And the website walkscore.com lists this park, this, this part of the city, as being a walker's paradise. It scores extremely high on its walkability because of its great access to coffee shops and restaurants and museums and parks and uh, so it's a wonderful walkable community. Uh, you can live uh, close to here and you can work close to here. You can jump on the train not too far away. So we're going to take a little walk uh, down the street here and uh, we're going to go back down to the, the visitor center where uh, Danelle Rose, who's filming this, and myself work. And we're just going to show you all the wonderful things there are to do within walking distance in, in front of look like Freeling's finding any money in his wallet, so it looks like we need to uh, pay a visit to the local bank here. Virginia, luckily, Virginia Partners Bank is right here. Community Bank of the Chesapeake is right across the street, so you can get your banking done. Well, we've walked a block now, and I sure am hungry. So luckily, there's about eight restaurants that we can go to right, right here. So uh, all of them delicious. So um, not sure which one we'll hit, but we're definitely gonna hit one of them. Man, <laughs> all this walking sure has made me tired. Can uh, use some caffeine. Oh wow! Look, Hyperion Espresso. Wonderful. All right, let's get a cup of coffee. So they made me Director of Economic Development and Tourism and I realized, you know what, I really need to know a lot about what's going on here in Fredericksburg if we're going to have this job. And luckily, if I really want to learn about what's going on, I can come here right here to the Fredericksburg Area Museum. And there's also wonderful attractions close to here, the James Monroe Museum, the Washington Heritage Museum's property, the Rising Sun Tavern, and the Hugh Mercer Apothecary, the Mary Washington House. Kenmore is a short walk from here, so I can certainly get briefed on the region's history within a short walk of where I'm sitting right now. Really not feeling too good. I think I might have eaten too much back there at all those great restaurants, but oh, I could really use some use some pharmaceuticals here to help me out. Oh, look at that. Gorick's Pharmacy right across the street from us. You can get a delicious uh, homemade fountain drink and a, sand, a great chicken salad sandwich, but I can also get some Tums or some pick up a prescription if I need to go that far. So, uh, Or if I need to get my eye checked, they could go right here to Site Studio Optometry. So um, some great healthcare uh, things that we can do downtown as well. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, I just realized today's my anniversary. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh wait, look at all these great shopping opportunities right here on Caroline Street. Well, I should have no problem buying some locally locally made and produced uh, wonderful products here for, for my anniversary. So I'm in luck. Destination now, the Fredericksburg Visitor Center where Danelle and I work. So uh, we're going to wrap this up here. But if we kept on going right here, we could take a carriage. We could take a horse and trolley, uh, horse and carriage ride. We could take a trolley tour. We could keep going up the street here and get to the train station. We could walk over here and get to Riverfront Park. We could go over there and go to the garage. And so we really only scratch the surface of what you can do on foot in downtown Fredericksburg, but we hope it gives you a good idea of just all the wonderful things that there are to do without ever getting into a car. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time.